Previously in Pleasant View, Dina's room gets renovated. Baby boy Ethan got into private school. Luz Burb and Alexander broke up. Nina gave birth to Maria Teresa. Alexander grows up. Hello, baby boys, and welcome to Cruz Sims. My name is Cruz Darwin from Strange Town, and this is Pleasant View with Study Progression and the Traits Project. Guys, I was playing a little bit off camera and I went kind of crazy in remodeling the house as you can already tell. I can't wait for you guys to see everything that I've changed, but before that I was playing and recording. So first you're going to watch me playing from right where we stop it and then after that I'll be back first to start playing in the new house, which by the way it is looking amazing. <laughs> Alexander grew up and I'm not happy with the fact that I was not there to witness his, you know, uh, becoming an adult because Maria Carmen was like getting born, so you know, it was not possible for me to do so. But anyway, I want him to have a degree even though I did not send him to college and that's because, well, I want that in real life as well for myself, but anyway, and that's because I played this game for so many years now and I have sent him to college a lot of times. I'm just, you know, not doing this in this last way because honestly, college system in Sims 2 sucks real good in real life as well and I'm just going to give him a physics degree because, you know, that suits him, I guess, and, you know, that is pretty much it. By the way, I just said Maria Carmen, but her name is Maria Teresa, actually. Maria Teresa Caliente, yes. And right now, I'm getting a job for Alexander in the natural scientist career. You know, that's because in other games, you get to choose the career, okay? So why not? And he's a god, he's rich, he's, he have a college degree that I just bought for him. So it just makes sense that he can, you know, he gets to choose his path and his career, do you know what I mean? Even though, you know, I just get him a job and then he have a breakdown over that, I guess. I know that it's not over that, but it's just fun to me because that's kind of what happened to me as well. I left the game for a moment so I can edit uh, Alexander's memories and that's how they are looking now, you know, it just makes more sense with my fantasy, even though, you know, I do feel a little cheaty doing that, but, you know, I'm a control freak when it comes down to the Sims, I'm not going to lie. Cassandra is supposed to be this mean, powerful witch, at least in this let's play, and, you know, she's not doing much. But this ends tonight, because in order to provoke the Caliente sisters, Cassandra will be using her powers to summon Dawn uh, over to her bedroom. So they are going to, you know, do something uh, to make uh, the sisters jealous, I guess. Let's go to cast a spell and then Apelo Simai, and then, you know, she will be able to summon Dawn over, which, you know, it is something that I wish I could do. The witches for me are always like the best uh, cult in every game of the franchise, it is just so fun. Dawn is here so you know what time it is, right? Time to have fun. So in this let's play, Cassandra and Dom, they were never engaged or girlfriend or boyfriend, they haven't even kissed it. So because of that, Cassandra will be actually voodooing Dawn in order to make him fall in love with her, so let's watch this. And also, let me take a picture, because that's a, such a cool moment. Okay, it worked good, because, you know, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, and don't try to kiss Cassandra, and she was like, Ew, no, get away from me. But I like that, because she likes to be the one in charge. So we are going to kiss Dawn, but... Not the other way around, do you get it? Okay, and this is going to be Cassandra's first kiss, so let's watch this. <laughs> It 
even though that was cute, uh, I gotta rem remind you guys that this version of Cassandra is neither attracted to boys or girls. She's only doing that to provoke the Caliente sisters, okay? So now let's say goodbye to Dawn. <laughs> and I love how she's thinking about Nina and then Dom, like she is, you know, uh, making me make a lot of sense with that storyline, if you know what I mean. And while all of this was happening, Dina was just sleeping and, you know, thinking of herself, dreaming of herself, I guess. Baby boy Ethan and Alexander are sharing the same bedroom right now, but once I remodel the house, uh, everyone will have bedrooms of their own to sleep, you know. And I don't know why, but Nina decided to have a bed by the kitchen sink, so that's her choice and I support her. I knew that I was forgetting something and it was Maria Teresa, so she need to get um, swiped, I don't know if that's the word, she needs to get her diaper changed, yes, I guess that's the way you say it, anyway. Good, now that she is clean, let's feed her a bottle. And now let's return her to her crib. Story progression, Brand Broke is getting engaged to Derry Dreamer, okay, so she's going to quit being a broke and start being a dreamer, which, you know, it is pretty much the same. And of course, Lucy Burby was here to quick a trash, how mature. I'm glad I broke up with you, lady. I gotta say, I love when uh, the Sims go and brush their teeth by themselves, you know, without me sending them because this is something that I never used in this game and actually it does make a lot of sense so use that, use that mirror in your game, okay? And that is the moment all of us have been waiting for, you know, the new house so I stopped playing at that moment and I just started like building the house and remodeling actually and that is how it is looking i'm super happy with the result of that uh, i do think that it looks gorgeous i don't know what to tell you it was made by me so <laughs> so you can argue that this house doesn't look like a god mansion at all and I would reply that I 100% agree, because the storyline here is that, you know, Dina got married to Mortimer, and then Mortimer passed away, which was, you know, something happy for her, and now with his, with his money, she decided to remodel the whole thing to make it look like her. So this is like a cliente house, not a god house, do you know what I mean? And Alexander and Cassandra will be mad about about it but at the end of the day the money is you know also dina's so that's why she did it and that's how she did it and i do think that is looking good but please let me know in the comments what you think i decided to keep this uh wedding stuff here because you know that is a classic thing for to, to have in this house even though uh, i was trying to get away from classic but you know it does look good and I was even inspired to make a little bit of landscape, uh, you know, inspired by R Rikowski, I think that's the way you say it. I love his channel. Oh yes, and we have two black cats now. These are Lilith God and Lucifer God. These are Cassandra's pets, so they do like her, obviously, but they hate the Caliente sisters. And I gave the Sims a little makeover as well, so that's how Dina is looking. I think this outfit is like she being the new money tacky bitch that she is, but we love her for that, so... Here we have Alexander God in his new look and bedroom. It is giving me country vibes and I love that. Cassandra, in the other hand, it is, you know, looking richer than ever. And her new bedroom reflects that a lot. I mean, there is even a magic broom here. So how cool is that? Yes, I downloaded that. <laughs> and yeah, I love this look for her. I think uh, the new dress, the new bedroom 
reflects a lot who her character is in this let's play. This is Baby Boy Ethan's bedroom, it is giving me bluish vibes of course. There is a lot of things for him to do here, there is even a hamster so that's really cute. And oh I need to tell this, yeah, these are not doing any good. Uh, anyway, I love how his bedroom is looking as well, uh, you know, there is plenty for him to play with, do, there is a television, a computer, so, you know, that's just cute. In the attic, Nina's uh, woman cave, you know, still remains, uh, it is giving me a lot of pinkish, because I do, I have always uh, thought of Nina as someone who really likes the color pink, and also here it is, uh, Maria Teresa's baby bedroom, so look how cute this is looking, you know, when they get to be close to each other all the time. And here in the penthouse, I don't know if I can call that a penthouse, but I do think that I can. Anyway, uh, I decided to add, um, you know, new furniture as well, so that's how it is looking. I guess things are looking good as well for the first floor. We have this beautiful white piano in our entrance room. And these two dark bathrooms, you know, bathrooms are never enough in this game. The kitchen though, I think it is looking a little too happy and simple, so I'm not sure about that. The dining room, I almost didn't change it because it was already looking very good. And here we have this beautiful living room that is 100% giving me God vibes. So let's pretend Alexander and Cassandra were the ones behind it. And that is how our new home is looking, and now we can finally play in it. Okay, so let's pick a homestead for Baby Boy Ethan, and I'm going to name it Morty, you know, in homage to Mortimer, his passed away father. So, which one? Yeah, I'm going with the white one with uh, head eyes, because, you know, gives me vampire vibes, which makes sense for the God family, so... Now let's buy a bird as well, let's go with this one cause it is giving me dangerous vibes, do you know what I mean? And I'm going to name her, not Becca, uh, Bella, you know, so we have the hamster Marty and the bird Bella, you know, makes a lot of sense. And just like the original Bella, she looks gorgeous, look at her. Now baby boy Ethan is working on his homework and Maria Teresa just received uh, 200 sorry, uh, simoleons from uh, Don Lotario for child support, so that is a really cool mod, you know, a must have, I would say. And of course, Lucy Burby was here again, kicking a trash bag, how much sure? Well, this time uh, she's not getting away with it though, you know. I'm going to cast a spell to erase her memories. So this is going to be Tabula Hasa, yes, that one. And you know, it is kind of heavy to do so to erase someone's memories. But at the end of the day, Cassandra is a bad witch and also uh, Lucy needs to move on. So please do. Okay, and this is happening. Let's watch this. Oh, I love when... It Wicked Cassandra comes in, do you know what I mean? Like, I love this part. And also, uh, Lucy says, I have a funny pain in my head. What happened? Oh, yes, and I haven't uh, mentioned that before because you can perfectly see, but I added this elevator, you know, it is just so much more um, easier to use, I guess. And because Cassandra is so weak, it's just one spell, it is not enough. We are going to mess with Lucy a little bit more. Yeah, Cassandra was like, uh, you know, I already have erased your memories and now you can get the fuck out of my house, okay? Nina was a great mother for baby boy Ethan and he's not even her son, so let alone Maria Teresa, you know which it is. She's going to be a great mother, she is being, you know, a great mother and she's going to be even greater in the future. You know, she's a bitch, she likes the D, but she's a good mother as well, you know, you can be both. Okay, so chaotic alert, Dina was not doing good with her social needs, and guess who showed up? The social bunny. And not only that, but someone managed to let her 
to let our bird escape. Uh, Bella is flying around. I just hope she doesn't get away. She actually returned to her cage by herself. So good bird. Yeah, close that. I'm not doing a lot for Alexander right now, as you guys can tell already. But uh, I do have some bigger plans to him. You know, he broke up with Lucy. That was not, you know, just for doing. I'm totally giving him more attention in the future. Actually, maybe even like this episode, I do have some stuff that I want to do. And to celebrate the new house, I'm going to throw a dinner party tonight. So I'm going to hire a buffet. Uh, you know, even though not everybody is happy with the changes in the house, you know, uh, everybody is going to be coming to the dinner tonight. And even though I like the way the house is looking, it became, you know, a little glitchy. So if the video uh, looks like that, that's because, you know, it, it is glitchy in the game. So I just send Nina to bed and realize that my baby isn't here. Where is my baby? Oh, she's here. She's behind the crib. I don't know. I don't know how she ends up there, but okay. Because everybody is very sleepy right now, uh, the dinner party will be thrown a little late, like 9 p.m. You know, it's a little late for dinner, but it's going to be, you know, 9 p.m. because they need to go to bed. Okay, it is almost 9 p.m. So let's wake up everybody and uh, throw the dinner. Now, once dinner is ready and there she is. Oh, I hate that dress. There she goes. Good, now let's eat. And that is it, guys. Our little family dinner party, you know. Uh, Cassandra is not sitting any place near the Cliente sisters because we don't want to be, you know, throwing drinks tonight. It is not about that. It is about celebrating the new house, you know, and the new everything. Honestly, everything changed. And uh, I love how things are looking. You know, Cassandra is so psycho and twisted that her formal dress is her mother's dress. Uh, her, you know, Bella's wedding dress. And that's, you know, a choice that she made to provoke Dina. Like, I'm dressed as my mom marrying my father that you kind of, you know, marry just for the money, I guess. So, yeah, that's a good, you know, a good shade, I guess. <laughs> While Nina, on the other hand, she's not trying to provoke anybody. She's just being like flawless. Look at that body and that hair. I was just talking about how Nina is a great mother and her baby is like uh, doing poorly. So let's hold her and then uh, maybe feed her a little bit. Oh, that is not available right now because she is asleep. But whenever she wake up, wakes up, I'm going to change her diaper, feed her and, ba and bath her, you know. All of that same stuff. And here she is. I'm loving the elevator, guys. It is so practic. I mean, Cassandra is also looking amazing, you know. It, too bad she's not getting married in this last play because this dress totally suits her. Okay, baby boys, and it is already, like, too late. Okay, like, it is Saturday, but still, you, sir, must go to bed. Uh, but before that, use the bathroom because you need it. Um, wait a second, I need to unlock this door because I locked before, but oh, it is not locked. Shut up, me. <laughs> and then uh, use the bathroom, take a shower, and then go to bed. Cassandra is doing just fine with her needs, so right now I'm going to send her to practice a little bit of cooking because, you know, she needs in order to get a promotion. So start cooking, and that leaves Dina and Alexander alone by the table. You know, Dina and Alexander, they are actually, like, really good friends. They are really close to each other, I guess, you know, since when everything happened. Alexander was just a kid, so he had no problem in, like, learning to like Dina, you know, because in the beginning he hated her, just like Cassandra, but now they are really close and good friends. Nina is done with her duties as, you know, being a mother, so she's going to bed right now. She had a nice day, I guess, being a mother, you know, she likes that. It is almost 4 a.m. and Dina and, Ale and Alexander will be drinking together by the penthouse. Again, I don't know if that's a penthouse, but I guess it is. 
Mm, and he is thinking about her and Cassandra is still awake and she just gained a cooking skill point which is great for her. You know, Dina was feeling a little bit lonely so she loves to interact with this gorgeous beautiful tall man that you know used to be her stepchildren, stepson but now they are you know adults and Ooh la la, they just kiss it. So yes, things are doing, you know, uh, a little crazier here. And even Alexander is like sleepy and drunk, but I don't know, something is going to happen tonight, I guess. Alexander is very sleepy right now, so maybe let's go to bed together. Okay, so let's go to casual and then woohoo and bed. I hope they get, you know, the right bed. Okay guys, this is happening, Alexander God is losing his virginity to Dina God. <laughs> oh, and I love how everything is right, even Dina's plump up, this is, you know, just cute. Okay, that went fast, but, you know, it was worth a shot, I guess. Yeah, that is something that I, I don't think I have ever done with the game, uh, pair these two together. But they are not going to be a couple, okay? They were just like a uh, one night stand, I guess. And she was thinking about that woohoo with Alexander. Look at her bubble thoughts. And while she's baiting, so that's kind of sexy. It is the early morning of Saturday and baby boy Ethan is already awake. He is playing a little game, even though he can barely see the TV, you know, it is like up there and he is staring at the wall, but I don't know, he plays the way that he wants to play, okay? Alexander is still in bed while Dina is just relaxing there. He was kind of drunk yesterday, so I wonder if he is going to react, you know, in some way to the fact that he spent his night with Dina, you know? And I guess the carpool for I don't know who is here. Oh, I guess it is for Alexander, so he needs to wake up right now. Yes, <laughs> wake up. Cassandra is about to wake up and she was dreaming about Dawn. Yes, that was Dawn. I gave everybody a little makeover. So, oh, and I don't think Dawn met his babe girl Maria Teresa just yet. So let's have him over here later on today so he can you know meet his daughter and i don't know why but cassandra is over here in dina's room doing these wicked <laughs> expressions and stuff so I, I don't know i guess she's planning something and even nina is here now and she's mad at something she's trying to i don't know get to the bathroom i guess but only only dina can and look who was here again kicking a trash bag lucy burb i swear i don't know what to do i mean i already erase her memories like what else can i do i can't but i can't ban her from pleasant view but if i could through a spell then i would okay and not only cats not only birds not only hamsters we also have fishes on this house now and lucifer is just destroying everything he already destroyed this chair and now he's destroying the other one Lucifer, why you do me this way, baby? Why I love you so much? Oh, and the maid save us by uh, shoving him with the door. Good. Okay, Nina, so stop this and let's call Don over so he can, you know, meet his daughter. So let's call Sim. And let's call Don. Invite over. Sounds great. I'll be there in a few. Good. Oh, and here is Chi again. At this point, there is nothing that I could do. I just have to wait until she gets tired or move on. But she does look great though. Like, look at this outfit and new hair that I chose for her. Here is Don, so let's greet him. He is looking adorable with his new outfit. Oh, and they are, you know, just already getting it. So, um, you know, <laughs> I think... Even though I want to, uh, you know, kiss you and stuff, Don, let's go upstairs and meet your daughter, maybe. So, in order to do that, I'm just going to, and yes, everything is looking very bad here, and that's, you know, Lucy's fault. I'm just going to select Don and make him go there, you know, and meet his baby girl. 
And that's it, Don is getting to know his baby girl for the first time, so this is looking very cute and, you know, I just feel like he would not uh, accept the idea to stay away from her anymore. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to ask Don to move in, so, you know, it is going to be another scene in this chaotic drama that we have going on here right now, but it is going to be much more fun, I guess. Okay, so let's go to propose and move in. Okay, he he said yes, obviously, and now he is moving in with us. Good. This is Don, but you already knew him, right? He's looking great in this little makeover that I gave him. At least that's what I think. I haven't um, added Don's memories, but I'm going to work on them later. I do love this couple, let's just cross our fingers and hope that Cassandra will let them be, you know. <laughs> Study progression, Lucy Burb is aging up, good, I hope that, you know, she gets more mature. Spoiler alert, she didn't. Don is off to work, he works, you know, in the medicine career and Nina is sleeping, so that's why, you know, Dina is doing her a favor and I don't know why Cassandra is here, but I'm always scared when she shows up like that. I lied. I said that this is going this was going to be just a one night stand. Oh, and he rejects her. Okay, so he rejects her for a makeout uh or a kiss. I don't know. Let's watch this and see where this is going because I I want them to have to spend another night together, but Don has returned from work, so let's stop this because you know he rejects her so he was like, no, I regret what we've done, you know, I don't know why I'm, what am I doing here. So let's just go back to your room, sir, and, you know, let Dina be with uh, other men tonight. And that man, of course, is done, and he's here with, D with Nina. So let's have uh, Dan make out a little bit, but tonight he's not going to spend the night with her. And now Dina is here alone in the dark trying to get her shit together, you know, after being rejected by Alexander when Dawn walks in and she starts smiling because, you know, she didn't, she was not expecting him and they are going to have some fun tonight. And all of us knew that it was going to end this way, so they will do it. But because one lady is not enough for Don, he's now reading on Cassandra and oh my god, Nina just walks in. Yes, I was filming that through the gelatin and normally Nina would not be jealous at all, but because it's Cassandra, she's not going to take this well. And Don was like not even caring that Nina was here and Cassandra was like, no, not in front of her, not right now. And now Nina is going to throw a drink at Cassandra's face because, you know, she's feeling betrayed and stuff. <laughs> it is always fun to me. And now Don is remembering having a uh, make out rejected by Cassandra. So he was rejected by Bella and now her daughter Cassandra as well. Which honestly just makes him go crazier and crazier for Cassandra every day. And that was a big hit for Nina, I guess. She's kinda losing it at this point. But, you know, even mad at Dawn, Nina can just not resist him. You know, it is impossible. She is deeply attracted to him. And you know what? It's not even that Dawn is like crazy attracted to Cassandra for real, for real. It is just that he is under her spell. Literally. Dina is doing really bad with her romance aspiration, but she wants to woohoo and we can provide that, so... So, I might be bad taking care of Nina, but Dawn isn't and that's what he is doing right now. Now she's going to be happy. Yeah, she's doing much better now and she even wants to do it again, so good for you. It is Sunday and Cassandra is here eating a salad by herself. Oh, Alexander is here now, but he decided to sit in the other table. Anyway, uh, I love how this is looking, you know. Oh, and I don't think I have mentioned before, but these are Don Straits. So he have commitment issues. He is a great kisser. He is charismatic. Flirty. 
and irresistible, but come on, we already knew that about him, right? Someone call a priest, uh, Lucifer and Lilith are fighting and I don't know why or over what and Bella is just here watching, so you know, again, Oscar worthy footage for you guys. Pop emergency, it is uh, Maria Teresa's birthday, so Dina was heading over here to help her grow up and now they are stuck, as usually, you know, this part of Sims 2 is like eternally glitched, I guess. Uh, we just have to wait until someone is able to make her grow up. Oh, and she's thinking about Dina. How cute. That was it. Uh, she's here now. Oh my god, I love her hair and dress. Let's look at her. Um, okay, I'm not sure about her face, if I like it or not. Maybe, you know, she will eventually look good. I don't know. She looks a little bit like Cassandra, actually, which is kind of scary. And on that note, I'm going to end today's episode here. This is almost our season finale. Um, the next episode will be actually our season finale. So a lot of big things are going to happen. And I see you there. XOXO, Creuse Darwin.